Hey everybody, this is Barry Nadler with eLearningDeconstructed.com where we create eLearning rock stars. In this video we're going to be talking about transitions versus animations within PowerPoint. So the genesis of this concept came out of a situation I had when I was working with a client. The client asked me to review their PowerPoint slides. They were saying that they couldn't get the animations to work the way they wanted to. Well, it turned out that what was happening is they didn't understand the difference between a transition and an animation. So I figured I would take some time and I would make a quick video to show the difference between the two. So here's the presentation that we're going to deconstruct. Let's take a look at it from the beginning and we can see what is a transition and what is an animation. This is an animation. The topic title and the module title came in as well as the green bar and the divider bar. Now you're going to see a transition between this slide and the next. That's called a push transition. So now you'll notice there was a simple little animation. The little orange bar at the top there slid in. So now you're going to see another transition from this slide to the next slide. Okay, and there's the animation again. The little orange bar came in. We're going to see another transition here. And again, the animation of the little orange bar. One more. That was a transition. Animation's now happening. And that's the end of the presentation. So inside of PowerPoint, as you saw, there's two concepts. Transitions and animations. Transitions happen between slides, from one slide to the next. They happen on the slide that you're going to not the slide you're coming from. An animation happens to objects on an individual slide. So let's take a look at what we have here. You have two tabs, the Transitions tab and the Animations tab. Let's start with the Transitions. Remember we said transitions happen between slides. So when I click on this slide here, slide number two, you can see that there's the push selected. So when we go from slide one to slide two, we're going to push that slide out of the way. Now, with each transition, you also have options. So here you can see it was from the top. So that means that the new slide is going to come in from the top and push the previous slide out to the bottom. And again, we had the push on the third slide. This time it was from the left. And again on the fourth, there's the push. And this one was from the bottom. The next slide came up from the bottom and pushed the current slide out to the top. And on the last slide, we had a push. And it was from the right. So it came in from the right and pushed the previous slide out to the left. So the next thing we're going to talk about is animations. There's an animations tab here. And these are all the animations that can happen to objects on the slide. Now, we're not, we don't have anything selected, so that's why they're grayed out. But if I select this image, you can see they light up. And there's a whole list of things here, plus there's more down below. The other thing that's available is this animation pane. That's over here to the side over here. Now, one of the things that's interesting is an object, by default, can only have one animation assigned to it at a time. So therefore, if you were to take something like this image and you said you wanted to fade it in, if I were then to say, well, once I fade it in, I then want it to fade away. Well, there's only one animation. It just writes on top of itself. So what you really have to do is fade it in. Then you add an animation to fade it out. And now you can see there's the fade in and there's the fade out. You get them both. But we don't want those so I'm going to go ahead and just delete those off of this pane here. Just like that. Okay, so what happens here? So each of these items, this is a timeline. I can stretch this out so you can see. Down here along the bottom of the timeline are the seconds. You also have things like how is it going to start? Is it going to start with a click? Is it going to start with the previous item or is it going to start after the previous item? Well, this icon here is a mouse and it says it's going to be an on-click. 
and the text box is then going to come in after the previous and then this connector is going to come in and then the wipe is going to happen on the topic title so if we click the top one we can click play from to see what happens and you can watch it go right through the timeline there you go so that's how that works so let's look at the next slide remember on the next slide we only had one thing happen and that was this object right here on click it flew in now with animations you have some options just like you did with the um, transitions so here that little orange square is going to come in from the left it's going to fly in from the left on this first slide you can take a look there's also animations here there's that connector remember it was a fly in and it flew in from the top okay so let's look at the next slide here this is slide number three again there's only one item on here that's the rectangle and it flies in from the side fly in from the left there you go and again here there it is and then we're on the last slide now the last slide had a lot of things happening on it so let's take a look at what happened so the first thing was the rectangle then the next thing was were these pictures and they animated in one two three four five and they came right in here and you can see they faded in we happened to have text on these that was white so I didn't do any animations on those I just let them sit against the white background and when this orange box that's behind here comes in which is rectangle number seven the orange box brings in the text at the same time because now you can see it so we'll select our rectangle and then we'll hit play from there's comes in the animations are happening and then the orange box all right everybody once again thanks for watching our video we hope you got something out of it my name is Barry Nadler with elearningdeconstructed.com where we create e-learning rock stars if you liked what you saw here please take a visit to our website it's elearningdeconstructed.com you'll find many other videos as well as other tutorials and articles and information and such thanks and have a great one bye